Hey, what's up? Did y'all hear the news? Yeah? No? Maybe? All right, anyway, I'll tell you anyway. So, Kawhi Leonard, the claw, has just declined his $36 million player option, about to become an unrestricted free agent. And Chris Paul, a.k.a. the point guard, a.k.a. Mr. Losing the Finals, a.k.a. Choke City, has just declined his $44 million player option and will become a free agent too. Let's discuss. <laughs> And so like I just said, Kawhi Leonard just declined his $36 million player option. Surprise to me, I'm sure it's surprised to other people. After another disappointing year with the Clippers, although they did make it to the, the finals, well, the conference finals, for the first time in a long time, first time ever, I believe, for the franchise, he went down with, some are saying a partially torn ACL, some are saying... You know, it was torn, some were saying it's just a sprain. Nobody knows the true severity, but when it comes to Kawhi, does anybody really know? But with that being said, everybody thought because of the injury, he would pick up the option and stay. You know, not risk it. Not risk it for the biscuit. But he still decided to decline it. So I'm not sure if he's going to try to pull a power move, which he probably will because, let's be honest, the Clippers can't really get rid of him. They've given away too much. So, what do you guys think about Kawhi Leonard? Where do you think he's going to go? Let's talk about Chris Paul next. Now, Chris Paul's the one that really surprised me. He's really up there in age, and uh, the finals weren't the best performance that he's given in a while. It looked like he was wearing down. Plus, $44 million at his age is, is good. So I'm guessing he's looking for some type of long-term deal, maybe three year. I doubt anybody give him four years because what is he, 36? And he's not even real. He's probably barely six feet. Let's be honest. And not the most athletic. And as like I said, as we saw in the finals, well, throughout the entire playoffs, he got nicked and injured like always. He played through it this time, so kudos to him for that. But he still looked like as the playoffs went on, he worn down. After the closeout game for the Clippers, he came back with a ferocious game one in the finals, and then after that, it was just downhill from there. So he's giving up the surefire $44 million, so I'm saying maybe a three-year, 90-ish million dollar deal is what he's looking for. A little bit of a pay cut in one year, but you get more than one year guaranteed. I wouldn't give him more than three years as a, as a team. I probably wouldn't give him more than two years, honestly. But let's see where that goes. What do you guys think about Chris Paul? Should he just took the 44? Do you think he's even staying in Phoenix? That's the real question. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, now he ain't going to the Lakers now. All right, so let's recap real quick. Kawhi and Chris Paul both declined their player options. Both set to become unrestricted free agents. Will they team up? I highly doubt it. But you got to throw that out there. Just, just because. Also, will they stay with their current teams? I think Kawhi has to stay because I don't think the Clippers are going to let him go. Chris Paul, that's a wild card for me. He's, is he going to go for the money? Is he going to go for the ring? Is he staying in Phoenix? That's another big deal. I don't know. Rumor, do you think Chris Paul may return to New Orleans? You know, maybe boost up their trajectory? You know, who knows? Maybe he wants to get them right, get Zion, I don't know, get Zion NBA ready. Zion's been doing pretty good, but they haven't been winning. Get them ready for maybe a finals run? I don't know. You tell me what you guys think. I'm just really shocked about the whole Kawhi doing his thing when he's injured. Now, we know Kawhi likes to rehab and rest a long time. So if you made it this far in the video, drop a like. I really appreciate it. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Do you think they're staying with their teams? Do you think they're dipping? And, you know, subscribe, hit that bell. Until next time, whenever there's sports, I'll have an opinion.